Pokemon card singles from the XY, Sun and Moon and Sword and Shield era have been going a bit crazy, especially in the Sun and Moon era. But today we're going to be taking a look at a bunch of different cards from all three generations to see what has been going on right now in the singles market because there are some pretty big movers. Let's go and check them out. Alright guys, so today we'll be taking a look at a bunch more big market movers for the month of June. We're coming to the end of June now, going into July. So over half the year has been and gone. And there have been some big movers between Sword and Shield, Sun and Moon and X and Y. And it's pretty crazy. You know, Sun and Moon has blown up massively. Absolutely crazy. However, some Sword and Shield cards have been doing the opposite, especially some alt arts. Alt arts have kind of been dropping in the Sword and Shield era, but alt arts in the Sun and Moon era have done the opposite. They've gone through the roof. So today we take a look at TCG Player to see what has been going on with all of these cards. Right, starting off we take a look at XY. We're looking at Ancient Origins, we're looking at the Mega Rayquaza EX. This is the shiny full art. Now Ancient Origins is a beautiful set. I actually really like it. It is expensive. I have to admit it is expensive. And XY cards, they don't tend to go for a huge amount of money. It's kind of an era where Pokemon didn't do that great. Now obviously booster boxes and sealed product is super expensive pretty much every single one you know especially ancient origins but the you know the actual individual raw car prices are not actually that crazy so let's take a look compared to the sun and moon and sword and shield they're, they're really not so like i said let's have a look at this so we're looking at around about 144 dollars now over the past three months this card's gone from 110 to 144 so it's jumped quite a bit actually in the past three months we go back six months it's gone from 100 to 144. So really over the last three months is where it's kind of escalated quite a bit because the three months prior only went up by $10. But now it's shifting up quite high, to be honest, for this card. We go back a year and not really a huge amount has changed between the six months to the year. It's really in that last three months, it's starting to really take off. And we started to see still product kind of go the same way, especially older generations. People now looking back and going, right, Golden Shields are now finished. We're looking at Scarlet and Violet. The first two sets in Scarlet and Violet weren't the greatest. So people are now going, hey, on a minute. Let's go back and have a look at XY, Sun and Moon. And some of the cards are absolutely beautiful. And this is definitely one of them. But it is a big mover, to be honest, over the past three months to go from 110 to 144, gaining over $30. Pretty good going. Okay, looking at the Scarlet and Violet era, we're looking at the Miriam today. Unfortunately, Miriam, not doing too good. Not doing too good. We're looking at $52 over the past three months. Well, basically when it came out, when the set came out, 76 and it stayed around 70 for a while. Now it did actually come out at $100, or over $100. And it has kind of just been dropping. To be honest, well, it has, not kind of has been dropping, right? Look at $52, you know, $50 for the big chase card in the set. Not very good. You know, it's not very good. If you take a look at the Sword and Shield base set, that's kind of the same top chase card, $45, $50. Rebel Clash is the same, $40, $50. Not huge, not big, and it, it's a shame. It is a shame. I don't think that Full Art Trainers is the way to go, especially for the, you know, the chase cards. It is a bit poor, in my opinion. You know, I do want it to be a Pokemon. And we had the same, obviously, in Paldera Vault with the Iono. However, that card's been doing the opposite to the Miriam. That has been going up, mainly because pull rates, pull rates in Paldera Vault are okay, but because the set is so large and there's so many, like, SARs and secret rares things like that it becomes harder and harder to get like individual specific cards but however the Miriam I haven't pulled it myself but a lot of people have and it seems to be pretty common and that's one of the reasons why it's dropping next up we have another XY era card we got Team Aqua's Kyoga EX from Double Crisis now I don't think I've ever looked at Double Crisis before never and I looked at the set and I was like hang on a minute I haven't really looked at this set what cards are in it what's been going on well quite a bit so this card is gorgeous, by the way. I've never seen it before, and I really want it. <laughs> so we're looking at $91 for this card. And over the past three months, it went from $78.79. So over the past three months, it's shifted, okay? Now we go back six months, and again, similar to the Rayquaza, it didn't really move much between six months and three months. Not really. You know, it was around, what, 75 And then, you know, I would say around March, April, it shifted a few dollars. And over the past three months, it really then escalated. You know, we go back a year, and again, this card, it took a dip, to be fair, and then it's been going on the up. So, we'll keep an eye out for this card. You know, again, XY, difficult to get booster packs. It is expensive to get these big top pulls. 
this is a gorgeous looking card so it's doing pretty well uh in all honesty you know which is pretty good from a set which i kind of missed but we're sticking with double crisis because we've got growled on team magma's growled on ex i prefer this one than koga i've always liked growled on over koga and again this one not quite as high as a koga has been doing a fair bit of climbing right you know you look around 70 dollars up to near enough 90 that's pretty pretty good to be fair we go back six months and it's been climbing 60 to now 90 dollars it's on the uptick guys it's on the uptick getting harder and harder to get and we go back a year this car a year ago was about less than 50 bucks boom 90 so it's doing pretty well and i expect to do even more i mean it, the past month it hasn't really shifted too much but in the past three months it really has so we well, past three to six months to be honest it has been doing pretty well similar to the cargo though again double crisis difficult to get hold of it is expensive you gotta try and pull this uh but ex you know kind of like xy era cards quality wise eh, they're probably not gonna be the greatest in all honesty the printing quality back then i mean to be fair it's not great now but the printing quality wasn't the best so trying to get this in a good condition to get a good grade can be quite tricky okay we're going into the sword and shield era we're looking at the celebi alt art from fusion strike i like this card i really do and fusion strike is just such a harsh set to get those old arts it really really is and this is a beautiful card that's dropped a lot in price over the past month it has dropped so it was around 28 dollars did go up to 31 and it's now 25 we go back three months and you can see that big drop guys big big drop for this card and we go about six months and it's just been declining it has now fusion strike is not that expensive you know seal booster boxes are getting more expensive but just fusion strike packs in general are still pretty cheap they are they are cheap so pull rates are tough though as we know fusion strike pull rates in my opinions i think it's probably like on the same level as maybe like battle styles like it's really tough like really really tough so we'll have to wait and see how this car goes but i i just think this car could even drop to 20 dollars uh really cheap old art if you want to grab an old art that is absolutely beautiful and for a decent price this is a good one but 25 dollars it is a it is one that is falling and it's continued to fall you know over time it had a little bit of hope there when it went to 28 to 31 and then it's just kind of dropped even more so absolutely crazy for the celebi from fusion strike okay sun and moon time now we're gonna get into some craziness sun and moon all arts man these have been crazy blastoise and piplup gx now i have the rainbow version but i don't have the OR version big money guys get ready so we're looking at 123 dollars this card was 70 and it's now 123 in three months all right we go back one month okay well, even in one month this card's gone from 107 to 123 right we go back six months 57 dollars to 123 they nearly tripled okay we go back a year okay a year 40 dollars imagine you're picking up this card for 40 dollars imagine and it's now tripled in value in less than a year and i think it's gonna go up like we've seen it across the board of sun and moon all the arts pretty much I've been going up i had one recently had the mega sableye and mega tranitar i uh, got it graded got a nine so it wasn't gr that great i bought it raw for 35 40 pounds it sold i saw one yesterday that sold for 190 pounds raw but it got a psa 9 so it's not worth much i mean the psa 9 over here it sells for like 60 70 but a raw one is ridiculous like nearly th like basically three times the value so it is, it is pretty bonkers so yeah this card's doing doing bits like pretty much anything old art from sun and moon is doing crazy i mean sun and moon era booster boxes and packs are expensive um you know they're getting to the kind of the levels of xy um so it's interesting to see what happens moving on but yeah just madness okay now we want one that is falling we're looking at the mewtwo v star from crown zenith now i actually pulled this and i do like this card it's a beautiful card now a lot of cards in crown zenith are actually falling but she's the top cards except the Giratina. That's holding decent value. But the Mewtwo, it is, it is falling. Over the last three months, it did reach a high of $80. And it did drop to basically $51 or $50. Which is not great. Yeah, it's not great. I didn't expect it to go this low. Uh, it's not the easiest pull rates either to get this card. Uh, you, know, you go back six months and you look at that when it came out. $112. And it dropped basically by 50%. Which is quite crazy. But is a gorgeous card it really really is and you know crown zenith has got incredible pull rates which is really good that's why people absolutely love opening the set however there is a ton of crown zenith around still like i mean loads so you know it's a set where 
Pokemon, hey, they, they delivered. They delivered a ton of product for people to open and have fun. And because it's such a fun product to open and a great, you know, just a great all round set, people are going to love opening it. And there's going to be more and more of these. So the value of this is going to continue to drop. So really cool though. Um, but yeah, it has dropped though by, by about 50%. We can have a climber, unexpected climber. We got the fish. Now I picked this one up recently myself, actually. The Chi U E X. You can call it an O art. I call them O arts. From Paldea Evolve. Now, Paldea Evolve has had some climbers. You know, the Magikarp, the Tyranitar, the Iono, which is quite impressive. Different to Scarlet and Violet. I mean, everything Scarlet and Violet based is just falling through the floor. Paldea Evolve, though, have had some outliers. They've kind of been in the trend. This little fish has. Look at that little bounce. So, you know, $22, not massively expensive, but it did dip to round 15. So it is on that little bit of a bounce back, which is quite nice. It did come out around 24 was nearly back up to where it was and you know we've seen that in the past with other cards from other sets aerodactyl all art from lost origin i mean giratina from lost origin as well you know so some of these cards have bounced back and you know in powder evolved we started to see that this fish like i say magic cup all the fish apparently um but and the iono so this this little guy is doing pretty good to be fair i mean over here it's selling for about the same like in pounds like 20 pounds or so 22 pounds so it is on the uptick this little fishy boy. I wonder how high it will go. Um, we have to wait and see. Okay, we another big climber now. We've got the Raichu and a Loan Raichu GX OR. Unified Mines, Sun and Moon, of course. Similar to the Blastoise and Pillbot that we looked at. $153 for this bad boy. It's doubled in three months. $76, $153. Crazy. We go back six months. Basically, $56. To 153 so tripled in value pretty much in six months we go back a year 40 dollars nearly four times the value holy smokes i mean even if we look at like the past month it's gone from 120 to 153 it's gained 30 dollars in a month this is crazy like i say just oh it's just going mad and i think they'll continue they will continue like i say unified minds i mean how much is it for a booster box like four five hundred it was getting really expensive, um, and the pull rates aren't the greatest either. So, yeah, it, it's pretty crazy. I mean, over here in the UK, this has been selling for, I saw one recently, I think it was like one, £140, something like that, £145. It is getting really, really expensive for these cards. But, uh, again, print quality, they could be okay. Sun and Moon can be okay. Better than XY, in my opinion. But I kind of feel like maybe on the same par as Sword and Shield. But yeah, insane card. Okay, then we got the Alt oh, Art oh, Charizard. Ah, oh, wow. Didn't expect this to be fair. I didn't. Not, not when it came out. Brilliant Stars recently just had a reprint. And booster boxes have dropped in price. And so have the cards. Let's take a look at the Charizard. This is the chart of a year. Okay. $137. It was up here at $210. Now I thought this was going to be the second most expensive card in the Sword and Shield era. And it really isn't. It really isn't. I mean, obviously the Umbreon. Rayquaza. Blaziken, Gengar, Giratina. Uh, I even think the Lugia is probably actually now more, I think it's now more expensive uh, than the Charizard. Will it continue to drop? Like I said, a reprint has happened uh, over the past month. It's dropped about $20 in the past month. So I don't know. Um, it could continue to drop. Maybe it could drop to 120 I don't think it'll drop less than 100 You know, booster boxes are, you know, getting reprinted and restocked and whatnot. So, we we'll have to wait and see. I don't have this yet. I still need to get this, but I might pick this up, to be fair. If it continues to drop, I might have to get one uh, because it is a gorgeous card, and I really, really like it. So, but, uh, you know, good card, but not doing great. There you have it, guys. That's what's been going on with the singles market at the moment from a bunch of cards. Now, obviously, there's loads of other movements as well, but we grabbed a small handful today. Some real big cards. You know, Sun and Moon, like I say, is going absolutely crazy. X and Y is not doing pretty good. But a lot of the Sword and Shield, especially the big old arts, are starting to drop. Now, there are some arts that are doing really well. Blaziken from Chillin' Rain, the Flaming Chicken, he's doing really well. Gengar's doing really well from Fusion Strike. But some of like the mid to low tier old arts have been coming down. Brilliant Stars, as you saw, the Charizard is coming down. Evolving Skies, old art, they've just kind of plateaued. You know, Umbreon hasn't really moved much. Rayquaza's not really moving much. All the other evolutions aren't really moving much. That's just kind of stayed quite steady. Uh, so it's interesting to see what's going to be going on. I mean, the Giratina has been quite steady as well. Like I said, Sword and Shield has been steady or declining, whereas Sun and Moon has just been going literally to the moon. 
and X and Y has kind of been ticking up uh, in some places. Other places have been going down, but in some places it has been going up as we saw today. And some surprising movements with Paldea Evolved with the little fish coming in. So there are some decent stuff going in the Skull and Violet era. Not necessarily the base set, but definitely in Paldea Evolved. If you want to know what great Pokemon products and cards that I've been picking up recently, make sure to click on this video right here. And if you want to watch more Pokemon content, guys, you know what to do. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. All right, guys, that is it from me in this video. Thank you all so much for watching. As always, you guys are the legends, and I'll see you in the next one.